Hello ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Hat Chalk 2010, returning you with a new Let's Play, a new playthrough of L.A. Noir for Nintendo Switch. The only other version of this game that I have is for the PC, and since I'm having some trouble with the PC in terms of games as of lately, um, I have it on the Switch. Why not record it on the Switch? I've been putting this in the back burner for quite some time now, and, uh, well, it's finally here. Thanks for your patience. Hope it was worth it. With that said, let's get into business here. So, I do want to explain a couple of things here uh, before we get started with a new game here. One, this is L.A. Noir. If you are not aware of L.A. Noir, it's a pretty lengthy, chatty little story, so, and, you know, and, you know, can, I am babbling here, my apologies. And considering that this is a playthrough, I will be silent for the major cutscenes. Whatever banter is going on in the case itself, well, I have to talk over it, you know, sorry to say. But I can at least mute myself when there is a new cutscene going on here. And because of this being L.A. Noir, you can expect the cases to be quite lengthy as well. And I don't think I am going to make that much cuts. You know, I'm not going to be, you know, releasing 15 minutes or 20 minutes per part or whatever. So, however long the case will take me is how long the video is going to be. With that said, let's go ahead and get started with L.A. Noir for Nintendo Switch. I'm excited for it. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Or Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. A city of dreamers. City of Undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Unit 16 William requests uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to L.A. Noir for Nintendo Switch. You know, we're just getting started, and of course, 
what other, you know, place to start than being the patrolman. Uh, L.A. Noir is set in the 40s, and uh, you take role of Cole Phelps, who is a patrolman for right now. Uh, but we will be um, getting, uh, you know, promoted to other desks as the game goes on. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places here. to be. Happy hunting. All right. We have our first objective. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. And, uh, right, have it your way. So, we'll search for um, to the back wall. Although I have plenty of experience anything, in this game, I ain't gonna promise, we'll like, that I'll be get, finding all one. the clues and getting all the, uh, interrogation questions correct and, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, not gonna promise any of that, but. Look at this jump. Hey, at least we're getting this playthrough, right? Right, uh. Probably not a good idea to drink while on the job. It's not my job. But I will read this newspaper. Shrink says the mind is the final frontier. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Chip. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering around. You went through a lot together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton, and your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time, with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure. For whom he can only smooth the path to death. Alright, so what we just uncovered is one of the many hidden newspapers uh, throughout the what entire uh, campaign here. Jesus. Cole, come take a look so at L.A. Noir, like I mentioned before, is a game that is based in the 40s, taking place in, well... L.A., Los Angeles, California. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed. And, uh, you may be surprised for me covering a Rockstar game, uh, you know, Rockstar Games game on my channel, uh, considering that I've mentioned before that, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of Grand Theft Auto franchise. You know, my only experience with Grand Theft Auto is completing Grand Theft Auto 1 and, uh, not Grand Theft Auto 1, but Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PC. Ralph, so you may, you know, How the hell did you see that? make the comparison that, you Reflection know, yeah, you know, it's basically Grand Theft Auto, Auto, except, you know, kind of you're a cop. You're not playing right. as a criminal, Don't you're playing as a cop. You're stopping criminals. 
And you know, I find I find that so jarring because it's like I can't recall any uh you know, any other Rockstar game that had you playing as, you know, as like a good guy in the game, you know, maybe Red Dead Redemption, I, I don't know. Like I said, the only other, you know, the only game that I've had experience with, you know, was Grand Theft Auto 3. I've tried the other games out and uh not really too big on it, Two so I was actually quite Instead pleased drain, to see a game where you take Ro as um, a good guy. And to be fair, this wasn't a uh, Rockstar now. Games game to begin with, you know. This was goal. produced by, originally produced by Team Bondi. Uh, Rockstar Games picked it up runner. after shot, there's been Pretty some... You know a local gun store? Sure. What's the term I'm looking There's for? A place a couple of blocks Restless there. work over at the company in Australia. So you'll notice that there are like, you know, some tremendous sure, work, especially really in the facial features area. No uh, they had this kind of technology where uh, they were presenting the facial game. expressions of, you, you know, every single person in this game, basically, when you, you know, it, you know, when you know, when you're interacting with them. You worry too much. And I find that interesting, you know, because I think this game was... I think it was released in 2004, not in 2004. Oh, maybe it was 2004, maybe 2005. Um, but, you know, it was definitely impressive for its time. And, you know, like, I was, you know, purely amazed. So, um, my first experience of this is I picked this up while it was on sale on Steam back in like 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. I was curious of what this game is like, and, well, thankfully, you know, thanks to the SGB Likes to Play channel, I actually got my first experience of, you know, figuring, you know, what L.A. Noir is like, and, you know, it's like, most gamers, if you're curious about the game, you had to check out some sort of know gameplay see how it plays out now obviously you wouldn't have to do that if you've been you know a big fan of Rockstar games since the very beginning and I'm not gonna say like the very very beginning because you know Rockstar games has its fair share of history when it came to you know video game production and stuff like that but you know if you're a fan of Grand Theft Auto this game is no mystery to you guys, I'm sure. Anyway, we made it to the gun store. We're gonna find out what Officers Phelps and or who belong. Can you tell us anything you know, about the, who the gun? Model 27. <laughs> <Jefferson Bank. laughs> what the gun belonged to? There you go. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith. So I mentioned order. about facial I'm animations. Well, these facial I animations guess. is going to help clue us in bad, during right? the interrogation, uh, the interrogation sections of this pole. game. You see it on there. So we got the information of the gun. It was. Polished nickel, pearl grip. There you go. Errol Schroeder. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 4th. So because that this is out on... You know, I am Thanks very amazed. Video. You know, with Anytime. the amount of games I picked up on a Nintendo Always Switch already, I am impressed how well this game plays on the, uh, the Nintendo in? Switch. You know, basically a portable console. And I consider okay. Nintendo Switch not only as a home down. console, way, but it is definitely a portable console because you have that option to pick up this game on the go and play it. And that's just magnificent. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but for now, with what... It can run. It's it's astonishing. Like I'm really impressed with Nintendo Switch so far. 
and you know, nothing but great things can come out of this system. Well, that wasn't from so here hard. On. Look, just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. So if you want people to get the fuck out of your way, uh, well, you press the horn button, which basically turns on your sight. This game grades you by. You know, grades you by a five-star ranking, and it depends on how much damage you do in the city in terms of pedestrians and vehicle damage, you know, city damage, etc. I'm going off track here, and you know, this just goes to, goes to prove that it's just like, oh, I can't seem to concentrate when I'm talking. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. So, there should be another opening here somewhere. You know, this is an odd way, an odd direction that a cop should be taking, Cole Phelps. Uh, you know what? Don't, uh, don't mind it, Bob. Uh, uh, are you drunk, sir? No, no, I'm not. I'm Cole Phelps. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't get But it looks like I'm on the right track again. That's astonishing. So, you'll notice that there is a compass on the bottom left hand corner of your screen. You can also view the full map of this area. And, uh, well, follow the yellow flag, that's your current destination. That's all you need to know. You know that's all you need to know about this game, is following the yellow flag. Now, of course, there are some side, like, street cases stuff that you can find or, you know, you can do. You can also find collectibles like, you know, movie reel tapes, unlockable vehicles, all that jazz to get more bang for your buck on this game. And it's actually Motor. needed if you, like, especially if you're, like, a com you know, an achievement completionist. But, uh, I ain't gonna be doing that. <laughs> the main goal in this game is that I am going to be completing all the cases. And since that this is on the Nintendo want? Switch, I have all the He's DLC cases as Over well, so we will Good be going through all of that. Lesson, this is also included the on progress? the PlayStation 4 be. and the Xbox Whatever. One. Then you'll be surprised it's basically supposed to be a remaster, tonight. and... I'm not really yeah, noticing mind. anything Shooter, remastered about this if game, I gotta say. Then again, it has been quite some time since I've actually picked this up on the PC on to play You're it. You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cup and no way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, now we got ourselves a fist fight. So, to actually get in a fist fight, you want to hold down the uh, ZL button basically your second L on your Switch controller, honestly. But you know, punch, 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 that's all you gotta do. Just punch the living shit out of this guy until he goes down. And that's it. Ralph, you alright? I'm fine, so, I hardly felt it. We are going through the patrolman well, cases. This is basically your tutorial. This game will let you know how this Ralph. game runs. I'm gonna take a look around. The real fun begins when you start your traffic desk. And I think there's a total of at least three to four cases being a patrolman. List of names in a series so of for this episode, I am going to be Dan covering Rose's all the patrolman cases because they're not that long to begin with. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Whatever you want, sir. Officer Phelps, that's 1247.
You dumb fucking sons of bitches. Get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Welcome to this game's flashback sequence. You actually get to uncover the past of Cole Phelps before he became a police officer of L.A. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Alright, so um, after each chapter, you'll uncover a bit of a piece of memory lane of Cole Phelps in the um, army, I think it was. It might have been in the army, I don't know. His experience with the army before he became a police officer in, uh, you know, LA. And, uh, I gotta say. I love the presentation in this game. You know, I really do. You gotta, you know, you gotta give it to Team Bondi here, who, you know, before, you know, they were struggling, and L.A. Noir picked up, you know, not L.A. Noir, um, Rockstar Games picked up, you know, this game to save it, pretty much. Yeah, there's a bit of a gunfight going on here. And, uh,. I guess just like in GTA, there's going to be a bit, you know, the screen will turn slowly to black and white when you lose, you know, enough health. And, yeah, you will die if you take a lot of damage, so... I'll take it slow. So don't tell me what to do. I want to go in there, gun at the ready, shooting people left and right. Get your ass out of there. You wanna fight? I'll give you a fight. I think there's one more up there. I'm gonna go all Scarface up in this bitch. Well, my hat has been shot off. And it looks like I just dropped my, you know, shotgun like a fucking idiot. So that's fine and dandy. And there we go. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Can I grab my hat? Thank you. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? 
You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? So it sounds like to me that Kelso and Cole Phelps has a bit of a history. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before. He jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bauer! Alright, welcome to the first chase sequence. And, uh... Yeah, during these sections, you're gonna be chasing these guys down. And if you can, when you get the chance, you can actually tackle them down. But, you know... It ain't gonna happen in this run. It's a tutorial, so you're gonna be chasing this guy for a while. Looks like he's taking a nice little detour, so... You know, we're just gonna follow him and hope for the best. Eh, come on. So just keep up with, you know, the person who is running away from you, and uh, you'll eventually catch him. Ah, oh, you bitch! You gotta be kidding! You fucking asked for it! <laughs> you gotta be kidding! <laughs> I love the interaction in this game. It's, it's magnificent. Now I guess, uh... I guess I, I guess I was lying when I said the only experience I had with any Rockstar games is Grand Theft Auto 3 and uh, El Wayne Noir. You know, that's not entirely true. I did have a little bit of experience up, of Howard. Grand Theft Auto the 5 when my fiance came to visit, oh. but you know. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Alright, so now we're gonna have to fight this guy. But yeah, I've had a little bit of experience with Grand Theft Auto 5, and you know, from what I played of it, it's a good game. I might pick it up and play it in the near future. But that'll be later on down the road. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, two. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! You know, I couldn't imagine being in the Army or the Marines, or anything like that, really. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. 
The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No shit. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right, so now we get introduced Everybody to the investigation sequences in this game where we get to oh, investigate like dead bodies, find streets. clues, etc., etc., all that fun jazz. So what we are after now, uh, right now is going through his uh, coat pocket to find what seems to be a receipt. Or a layaway voucher for uh, pearl earrings. Pearl earrings made out to Bank of Arcadia. And that's the only thing we're going to be digging out from this guy. We'll let Homicide deal with the rest uh, there. There is going to be a couple more things that we can pick up and check out here, including the shiny object. Five shells. These look like thirty twos. And then we will go after one more clue, which is gonna be in a trash can. And well would you look at that? FN Browning. Serial number zero one one three eight. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Alright. And once you hear that cue, it means cold. that you better take a statement. You found all the clues, and it's over. So now you can take the time to interview eyewitnesses and such. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw. And a uh, this store. is where the fun kicks in. Get to interrogate people. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. And if you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. So basically, the game just explained where, you know, if you think the person's telling the truth, you can be a good cop. If you think the person is, um, lying, but, you know, don't have the evidence, you can accuse them. Well, not accuse, I think it's a bad cop approach. And then, if you have anything to, um... He was my boss. To prove, you'd accuse them. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. But the game does a good job on, you know, introducing you to how the game is played here. So, depending on the situation, you can actually, um... If you dig out more than what's going on around here, you can actually dig out more questions. You think you could tell me exactly what happened? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> there seems to be a little more to what this girl is, you know, leading on. So we are going to accuse her and represent some evidence here. Greta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? This notebook says you're lying.
So yeah, obviously you want to choose the layaway voucher. The pearl earrings. You know, even with that tutorial, you, you know, some people are quick Stop to pick lying. this stuff up. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh God, I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop fucking the murder <laughs> investigation. <laughs> uh, the I interaction in this game is the jewelry phenomenal. Store. I fucking love it. <laughs> you me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kulu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at Sounds each other. Sounds like two guys are Mr. fighting Gage over a woman. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk. Nickel-plated, made in Japan. And yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud And yeah, bang. this game was set during the times where, Mr. you know, his back. there were some rough times between bang. the Americans and, another, and the Japanese. And Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very Thankfully, good. it's not like that today. All right. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Looks like she has a little bit more to say. So let's choose the bad cop approach. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people Ah, do. racial. Racial profiling. Name. Actually, I don't think... Well, yeah. I guess it kind of is. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Well, like the game says, if you need to witness a sincere, you choose a good cop approach. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And you know, I can't, you know... Quickly. If I were a part of an eyewitness Five. interrogation, I feel I'd do a sloppy job at it because I'd be so freaked out. I'm pretty sure most of these people would be freaked out too if they were under any type of interrogation or, you know, any type of, um, you know, testifying in court and things like that. And, yeah, I mean, that's got to be difficult. All righty, I think we're done here. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. All right, so we have a new objective. We're going to go to the gun store first. Just to confirm our suspicion. Because, you know, it's like Cole Phelps said in the first chapter of being a patrolman, you know, just because he owned a gun doesn't mean he fired it. Well, in this case, obviously, he did fire it. But you know what? You know, better safe than sorry. So we're going to go to the Eagleson's gun store confirm that this gun does in fact belong to Mr. Well, I don't think it's Mr. Gage, it's Kalu. So Mr. Kalu. There it is. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. 
Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. This thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Alrighty, so it is, in fact, Edgar Kalu's weapon. So, let's go on ahead and stop by at the jewelry store. You know, I'm interested in a new watch. Oh, and I guess before we uh, continue, we can go on ahead and, uh, <laughs> this is our little, uh, this is our little, uh, god damn, what are those things called? It's a thing that helps us track the location, okay? <laughs> Can't think. Alright, so here we are in Hartfields. Open late, seven days. Edgar Kalu, may I, in may I Officer, interest you in a pair of bracelets? I a new watch. Officer Cole Feltz. Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Get ready to run and chase this sucker, because it bitch. is Edgar Kalu. Go, Cole, go. Hi. Don't mind me. Just trying to chase down a bum. Kalu, get back here. All right, so you know that the suspect... If he runs away with you and doesn't show any, you know, restraint in slowing down anytime soon, fire a warning shot, Jess. Aim the gun, the timer will show up on the thing, and, well, shoot in the air, and that's it. That's good. We caught him. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Alrighty, welcome to the interrogation part two. From this point onwards, the game will not hold your hand for you anymore. So, best of luck! <laughs> you followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard! Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. 
That's bullshit. We got the girl's, you know, story, so, you know. So we're going to accuse him. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Well, I can definitely tell you something. Suspect positively identified. We know all about the argument. Ms. Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Oh, well. Let's change the subject. Don't you just hate it when the business flops? Fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? <laughs> You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalouf. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalouf. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalouf? I don't know what you're talking about. Well. So, whenever I'm stuck in a situation like this, I always like to hit accuse just to see what how it plays out and if I feel that I made the wrong choice then I can go bad cop on him so in this case we're gonna accuse him lying Kalu I think you lent Gage money he owed you payment I don't know what you're talking about nope so that's probably not Sorry. it my mistake so we're gonna go to bad cop you left-wing leaning parasite you expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel you call me that you sit there and you call me those names you goddamn goy butt snatcher you and that stuff looks like we Why pushed him into a corner power? gauge he's in the chamber of commerce he's in with all those momsers he blocked every proposal i ever put forward kike this and kike that he's been trying to ruin my business for years well, Edgar we got Carlo. the confession out of him. You with the first we proved that he was a killer. Gave. Obviously, he was I a killer, but hey, you know. And you're right to hold them. Gotta I prove it otherwise. The jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. And that's it. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. All right, so it looks like we got that promotion. We are now heading towards the traffic cases, which means that, yes, we are done being a patrolman. We are done with the tutorial of the game. And, uh, yeah! So, uh, in the next episode, we will be stepping into the first case of the traffic desk on El Wayne Noir. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010, as always. Happy gaming, my friends.